Hello everybody. Um, I'm back in New York. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to be starting Bear Feast because I'm going to be doing a, I guess, bronzy, bold lip inspired look for summer. I got three new lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. So those are what are being featured in this video today. Also, I cut my hair. I'm still getting used to it. I don't know if I'm 100% in love with it. But yeah, let's just get into this look. Okay. I'm going to start off by putting some concealer on. I hope this video is going to focus. But yeah, I'm going to start by putting some of my Hint Beauty Concealer on this face of mine. If I could find this. I was looking for the concealer brush just to get a good layer on first and then I'll blend it out with my hands. But yeah. I guess the short hair is good for uh, the weather because it is hot. Hot outside. If you hear tink tinkering, that's my dog. Sage, can you settle down and lay down please? You're making too much noise. <laughs> Nope, she's she's like, nope, that's not happening. Well, yeah, I'm gonna blend this in. I'm also gonna just use it as eyeshadow base. I'm gonna do a fairly simple look. And I'll fit somewhere on my nostrils as well. Oh my gosh, um, traveling does not, my skin does not do well with that. I'm just kinda, gonna say that. Because my skin feels so much better now that I can do my actual normal skincare routine. You know? Okay. Got the concealer on. I'm going to then go into this LH Cosmetics palette. It's part of my Project P. And I'm just going to use it for a simple look. I'm like losing my train of thought like as per usual, you know? I'm gonna go in with the contour shade in the crease, which is called. I can't, I can't see cigar. I believe it's cigar. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I don't know if this con this concealer is a little moist, but we're going in with the crease with this shade, just to get some definition in these eyes of mine, my eyelids. But yeah, this is just for a subtle definition. We're gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna go in with um, the bronzy kind of shade in here called, okay, we're gonna see, is it wiki? Take this on the outer portion and blend inward like so. I'm not sure I like the lighting. I feel like this side of my face is in shadow. We will fix that next time. But yeah, continue with the eyes. Repeating the same process on this side. not supposed to be anything like super fancy. It's supposed to be very simple on the eyes because the whole point is the bold lip to steal the show. I'm go back in with this brush. I kind of want to go in with the black but I want to make it really smoky. That's usually what I've been doing as my everyday makeup. I'm just going in with the black. I don't know what's up with my little doggo, but she does not want to sit still this time. Usually she's just like fine in bed. Today she's just like, don't let me make all the noise I want. I'm gonna take some of the brown underneath as well. Connect it to the top. I 
Then to finish this simple look off, I'm gonna go with this shimmer shade in here. This one's Milky Way. Virgo, I think it says Virgo. But we're gonna put this on the lid for some shimmy shim. Shimmy shim shim. Some glitz for this everyday simple glamour. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. I'm next gonna go in. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna take my contour shade from Salt New York. And I'm going to contour just a wee bit in the back where my natural shadow is already. I'm just gonna go in like that. And I'm going with the bronzer shade down here. I'll write the actual shade from Salt New York in the description. But I don't think, I'm gonna try not to go in with blush today. Cause I just want the focus and color to be the lipstick. So we'll see how that goes. But onto the cheeks. It's gonna be a fairly simple look, which is my favorite, especially in the summer heat. Should I put some bronzer on my nose? Guess I will. That's fine. Next, I'm going to take my Lisa Elvridge highlight, liquid highlight, and I believe it was Cosmic Rose. But yeah. Just gonna dot some on with this little doe foot onto the cheeks. A little dot on the nose. And we're gonna just blend this in. I'll go back in with the bronzer brush afterwards to make sure it's ready. A little bit of this goes along a long way. It's such a subtle, 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 subtle natural sheen, which I actually really like. I just started using it, even though I bought it when it released, so that's my bad, you know? Gotta let that settle in. I just want some glow for this bronze look, you know? Go, go over it, make sure there's no harsh lines. Yeah. I'm liking this. I'm going to put mascara and brows on and I'll be right back to swatch the Lisa Elridge lipsticks I picked out. Okay, so I lightly filled in my brows and I realized they need some attention. I have let them grow out too long. But um, put my Victoria Beckham mascara on. It's my favorite everyday one because it's so easy to take off afterwards. It's like a tubing mascara. But okay, I'm going to take out all these Lisa Elvridge lipstick, Je ne sais quoi, Strawberry Shock, which I am the most excited about. I'm going to try the one on last because I think that's the one I want to wear all day. I'm meeting some friends later. And then I got Palazzo. So I got two of the Lucent, Luxuriously Lucent, and one Insanely Saturated. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go with the lightest one, which I believe is Je ne sais quoi. And the color looks like that. Hopefully it is focusing. But um, let's see how this color looks on. It's so pretty. Mm, this is like still a bold color. Let me finish actually applying it. <laughs> That is Je ne sais quoi, which I consider a bold color, especially on my fair skin. So this is more like an easy bold one to pull off for summer, but it's so pretty. It's like a coral pink. I love me a coral, especially, you said it, in summer. Especially in summer. Hmm. I wonder if I'll end up wanting to actually keep this one on. I should have brought something to wipe it up off. Be right back. All right, let's try on Palazzo, which is more of a red, which, you know, reds can be bold. But since it's in the luxuriously lucent formula, I feel like this will be an easier red to wear. 
Let's try this one. I love it. <laughs> Put it on a little top either. It's okay. And that is Palazzo. Which, um, just for the name alone, I just want to go on a trip to Italy and try ups through the Italian roads and throughout all the cities wearing this lipstick every single day that I am there. I have yet to visit Italy. And hopefully one of these days I will and I'm definitely taking that lipstick with me. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off and we're gonna try on Strawberry Shock. I don't know if my lips are just getting irritated from taking off lipstick. I mean, I only did it twice. Or the Palazzo stained a little. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look at that shade. It is glorious. Kind of feels similar to Genesis Quad, just looking at it through the bullet. But you know, it's gonna be way more saturated and intense. I mean, it says in the name insanely saturated. Okay. Deep breath, bless Maria. I'm gonna put this on now. <laughs> is it the one? Oh yes. Yes. This is the one I'm gonna wear all day. Oh my goodness. Now this is a bold shade. I wonder if um, Lisa will ever come out with a liner suit with the insanely saturated shades. That would be kind of great. My lip line may not be perfect, but I'll finesse it later. Actually, I'll finesse it now. I'll be right back. Uh, I need a better lip brush, but I'm going to use this lip brush to try to make the lip line smoother. I'm just adding a little more bronzer. To make sure that there's enough intensity on the cheeks while still looking natural. But you know, letting the lips still shine. So what do you guys think? This is the final look. All right, guys. Um, it's been a while since I filmed because I actually was proud of myself. I pre-filmed three videos while I was away. And trying to get myself to sit down again today was kind of hard. I kind of believe YouTubers when they say like, uh, if you're not doing it consistently, it's kind of hard to get back into it. It's very true. But, besides the point, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple summer video. Uh, pull out those bold lips in your collection. And, you know, wear them out. And if you're, if you're a little scared to wear a bold lip like this, I would do a suggestion that I'm sure Lisa Eldridge has given like so many times, like blot it down. And then maybe you can like top it off with a gloss so it's not as intense. You know, maybe that'll work for you. But um, those were the swatches of the three Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I got. And I'm obsessed with her lipsticks. I don't know, it's just inspiration she gets behind them. The descriptions, the colors. <sighs> I'm just rambling at this point, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you do feel like you would like to watch more in the future. I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah, uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.